We're living in an amazing time where we found hundreds to thousands of planets, other worlds orbiting other suns. And for the first time in human history, we have the technology to catch the light of these other worlds to figure out what the air there is made of. Currently, with the telescopes we have in hand, we can do that for the big planets, for the giants, for the hot giant planets, bigger than Jupiter, needing only about four days to go around their sun. So the year is only four days long. But with bigger telescopes that we're just building right now, the next ones are going to come online about 2020, we'll be able to do the same thing for the small planets that we're already finding. Those planets are at the right distance, what we call the habitable zone, so not too far away from the stars, so they are not too cold, and not too close, so they are not evaporating all their water. And so there could be very good planets for life as we know it. Of course, we don't know if they have life. We know that planets exist in that distance, and that they are small enough to be rocks like the Earth, but then the question what it takes for life to evolve is completely open. When does it begin? What condition does it need? But by catching the light of these other planets, of these other worlds, we can read their air and figure out if there's signatures of life in the air. So basically what you and me breathe in and out is reflected in the air, in the atmosphere around us. And that is what we're now getting ready to do. And we're getting ready for this new slew of instruments, the James Webb Space Telescope that's going to launch in 2018, and the ELTs, the Extremely Large Telescopes, that we're building currently by generating a database, a spectral fingerprint for a diversity of worlds to figure out on which of those we could pick out signatures of life and how long we'll have to stare with our new instruments to not miss it because for the first time in human history we have the tools in hand to figure out whether or not we're alone in the universe.